Hello, Monica. Hi, Monica. Buenas noches, Monica. Hi, Enrique. Hi, Dalia. Hi, Reina. Hello, Marta. How are you? Fine, I take in my dinner. Ah, you, teacher. Buen provecho. I Thank feel you. good. Thank you. Yes, ready for action. Back in action. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you guys um who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? Adverb of frequency. Adverbs of frequency, correct. Uh, can you give me an example of some of the adverbs of frequency that you remember? You hardly ever swim. Excellent. So we were looking at a conversation. Uh, who can tell me what was the topic of the conversation? What was the topic of the conversation? Who can tell me? Hello, Maria, Jose. Who can tell me? Who else do you exercise? Excellent. Very good. So we were talking about uh, exercising. Uh, let me have one volunteer. Can I have one volunteer? Yes, teacher. All right, Enrique. Enrique, we are going to practice the conversation. Enrique, you are going to be uh, Marie. I'm going to be Paul. Okay, teacher. All right, let's do it. Uh, you're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real coach potato. Excellent. Very good. Now, vice versa. I am Marie. You are Paul. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And, I, and then I often go in a line skating. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. <laughs> All right. Applause for the participant. Very good. Who was that? That was Enrique. Enrique, yes. All right. Awesome, Enrique. Good job. Thanks. You got it. Perfect. Okay. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this uh, vocabulary or this topic? Any questions related to this vocabulary or this topic in the conversation? Teacher, Hi? traducción de I guess uh, I am a real coach potato. Um, a real couch potato is uh, a person that doesn't exercise. Somebody that only uh, watching watches TV, 
somebody that only plays video games, uh, somebody that is not active. Okay, thank you. It's a couch potato, eating uh, pupusas, megados, pastelitos, empanadas, um, drinking chocolate, Coca-Cola, no exercise, only watch TV, relax, no physical activity. Okay, thank you. Yes. Another person that has another question from this topic? Okay. Now I would like for us to move forward and we're going to look at the next activity on the platform. By the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo hacer preguntas y responder usando adverbios de frecuencia. Listen to the video, please. How to ask and answer questions using adverbs of frequency. Hi everyone, in this session we will go over adverbs of frequency to indicate how often or not you do something. Let's listen up. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No. I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Almost never. Never. I think it would help to know the position of the adverse of frequency in a sentence. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. So let's replace the structure with real sentences. He never plays baseball. We always go for a run. You hardly ever swim. Notice the position of the adverbs. Never, always, hardly ever. But let's talk about sometimes. Sometimes is a special case. It can go in the same position as the rest, or it can go at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. For example, I sometimes go to a dance class. Sometimes I go to a dance class. I go to a dance class sometimes. How about you? How often do you exercise? How often do you do any sports activity? Okay. So for this activity, what I would like for us to do is practice using making the questions. Frequency plus a verb. I would like for you to give me at least five questions here in the discussion forum. Five questions in the discussion forum. And you can write the questions with the response. So you're gonna write the question and the response. I want you to give me at least five examples. Any questions? Okay. okay.
Eh, Monica, Flor de Maria, Enrique Andres, are you okay? Do you need help? No, teacher. Okay. Eh, okay. Enrique Andres, usted está con Griselda y Manuel. And Sandra, Enrique, uh -huh, Enrique Andres is with uh, Griselda. All right, we're going to put you on six with Flor de Maria Flores. Okay, teacher. On number six. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Uh, hello. Yo entendí que con sometime. Uh, no. We're gonna do uh, five sentences, uh, questions. Five uh, questions. Five questions. Five questions. questions. Mm -hmm. uh, with the with the frequency verbs and the answers. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Mm. Mm. Bueno, la general, how often do you exercise? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I can answer that. Uh, I can say I I exercise five five times in a week. I don't know if you are writing the protocol. Mm. Oh, there, question. Um, how often do you? Do you see movies? What is see movies? See movies. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, how often do you see movies? I don't know. I I vamos a ver. Uh, once a week. Uh, I see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I see movie que okay, every day. No, no, no. If you have the time, you have the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pues every day, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> every day, no. Okay. I don't know. Um, entonces, I see movies. <laughs> a ver, a ver, a ver. Ay, ¿dónde está? Once a week. One time yes. in a week. I don't know. Podría ser. <laughs> Once a week, bye. Okay. I don't know if uh, the bird the verb in the sentence is in infinity quiero ver con ing no sé lo vamos a preguntar al teacher Pero, ajá, después uh -huh. nosotros pongámoslo así with ing yes teacher i don't know how reina is writing the verbs the the answer of the question Mm -hmm. But in the example of the video, mm -hmm. when he uh, he says, I go jogging once a week. Ah, jogging. Uh, Ajá, jogging. jogging. Ah, okay. Okay. Jogging. I got it. Yeah. I, I got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is Thank with you. ING. Okay. 
So the number three. Mm. How, how often do you drink? Is everybody finished? Edwin, Hector, Flor yes. Sanchez, Dalia, are you finished? No, teacher, todavía no. No yet. I will not teach it. Okay. Compañeros, una, una pregunta. Este, solamente para efectos de ejercicio necesitamos hacer uso, digamos, de las de los adverbios de frecuencia, ¿verdad? No es necesario que exactamente repitamos las mismas preguntas. Pero... Sí, solamente era como un ejemplo. Y de ahí Va. quiere que hagamos una. Va, de acuerdo, de acuerdo. Hello, Maritza, are you finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Hello? Can anybody hear me? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Are you finished? Okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, everybody. Is everybody finished? No, teacher. All right. Do you need more time? Yes, yes. please. Yes, okay. Please. All right. I'll give you a couple of more minutes so that you guys can um, move forward. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Give me just a second. We're going to wait for everybody to come back. All right, let's go.
Hello, teacher. I am. I am alone in a room. <laughs> oh, okay. Hector Granados. Okay, we're gonna put. My group is Floor, and, and I don't remember the the other girl. Okay, we're gonna put here Reina. And then Maria, we're gonna put her here on three. Okay, you can work as a trio. Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Hector, Trina. Hello. Um, <laughs> <laughs> este, otra, pre otra pregunta. Do you, no sé si estará bien, do you ever roam? Room in the morning. Do you ever run in the morning? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, I sometimes run in the run in the morning. I don't know. Okay. Mm How many questions uh, we have? Five, I remember we got yes, only five question and response. Yes, teacher. Sometimes. Okay, ya tenemos las cinco, creo, ¿no? Este, yes. Yes. Las podemos escribir en la plataforma porque yo todavía no las he escrito ahí. Ah, okay. Um, tell me the question I write in the platform. I will write. Questions. Read. 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 Um, frequency first. Number one, how often do you exercise? Okay, okay. Give me a second, please. How often do, do you, you exercise? exercise? Do you exercise? Okay. If the answer is I hardly ever. I hardly ever exercise. Okay. Um, how often do you go to the library? Library. Uh, library. Okay. Library. <laughs> how oh. often do you go? to the library. Library, what's the answer? Um, I never, <laughs> I, I never, some, sometime. I sometime, sometimes go to the library. Okay, next. How often do you drink tea? How often do you drink? Do you drink tea in the morning? Okay. The answer? I, 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 I always in the morning. Mm -hmm. Always drink tea in the morning. Okay. 
Number four. Do you ever run ever run in the morning? Do you ever run in the morning? Okay. Answer. I I sometimes run in the morning. Sometimes. Okay, number five. Do you ever um, see movies, girl? How often do you see movies? Mm -hmm. uh, do you? No sé si va. Do you ever see movies? Um, do you ever see a movie? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we can do it. Oh, do you ever watch TV? Every, I mean. <laughs> yes, did you ever watch TV? Uh, we can say yes. I always. I always have. Uh, I, yes. I always, always watch TV. Watch TV in my free time. Okay. Okay. See. In my five, five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers let me have two volunteers two volunteers two volunteers please Oh, teacher. Okay. Let me hear your examples. Okay. Uh, I I have to share my screen. Uh, not really. Only read your only read your examples to the class. Okay. Uh, uh, first question is about uh, how often do you exercise? The answer is I hardly ever exercise. <sighs> No good, no good. <laughs> you got to exercise, brother, so you can be big like Mr. Santos. <laughs> okay. Uh, the second one is, uh, how often do you go to the library? And the answer is, I sometimes go to the library. Perfect. Number three, how often do you drink tea in the morning? Uh, I always drink tea in the morning. Mm-hmm. Number four, do you ever run in the morning? Run. Run. Run Ra. in the morning? Ra. Run. Run. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, I sometimes run in the morning. Mm -hmm. And number five is, uh, do you ever watch TV? And the do, answer do, is... Do I say E, the number five, or do I say and the number five? And the number five. Uh -huh. Okay. And the number five. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever watch TV? And the answer is yes. I always watch TV in my free time. Mm -hmm. As so just teacher, I have problems with the platform and I can't uh, send the question. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I in the 
Or you can the, do it tomorrow. You can do it tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I copy in the text, the document. That's okay. Thank you, you can do it tomorrow because I had the same situation. So don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Now we're going to look at the following activity. Knowledge check. Instructions. Read the following prompts and choose the response in which the adverb in brackets is placed correctly. Instrucciones. Lea los siguientes puntos. Escoja la respuesta en donde los adverbios de frecuencia se encuentren en la posición correcta. Number one. Do you play sports? And there we have ever. So the correct answer is, do you ever play sports? Ever you play sports? Or do you play sports ever? What is the correct answer? Number one, Number do you ever play sports? Any questions? Does anybody have a question? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay. So I would like for us to uh, work in pairs a uh, couple of minutes, uh, complete the activity, and then we are going to check in pairs. Let's go. Okay. And what do you do for a living, Maria? Sería comprar las respuestas o como, perdón, no entendí. No, I just wanna, uh, <laughs> I just, I just wanna ask you about your work. Eh, si tengo alguna pregunta sobre el ejercicio, ¿cómo? No, solo quería hablar Ajá. con vos en todo el tiempo. Ah, ok. No, no, no. Está bien. O sea, si trabajo. Ajá. Si trabajo. Yes, I work. Yes. También estudio. What do you study? Eh, ingeniería industrial. Industrial engineering. Yes. Where? No, I do aerobics hardly ever. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. La última, ¿verdad? 
No, I hardly ever do my work. Sí, la última. Do you exercise on Sundays always? Do you always exercise on Sundays? Do you exercise? This is... La primera. Do you okay. always exercise on Sunday? Aunque okay, estaba entre la segunda igual. Es que mi pregunta es si always viene siendo como sometimes. Y según el ejercicio podría ir en, al principio, al final o en medio. Mm -hmm. O viene sea, siendo siempre, siempre ese ejercicio los domingos. Ajá, no, claro, pero según el ejercicio del video, podríamos utilizar always al inicio de la oración o al final, o sea, según pero el video. En la, hora, en la oración y en la pregunta. <risas> ah, ok, sí. Ajá. Ah, pues sí, entonces sí, la primera. De la pregunta si no la hemos visto en la, en la, en la oración, sí si sé que se puede así, vea. Uh -huh, es cierto. No hay exercise on Sundays, never. No hay never exercise on Sunday. Uh -huh, sí. What do you do after class usually? What do you usually do after class? What do you do? Ahorita, si existe alguna, como alguna regla o algo que nos dé como más. Sí, ajá, como, como, porque también está de la misma respuesta, está what do you do, do on Sunday, usually morning, por ahí es como uh -huh. que redunda un poquito, o sea, pero. Right. Si, no, si no nos diera la oportunidad de corregir, Creo que yo creo que la primera vez acerté como seis nada más. Me quedaron cuatro uh -huh. malas. Uh -huh. que, tuve que, que tuve que ir adivinando. Más de una que volví y no. Ok, I completed the activity. Manuel, are you finished? Reina, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Yes, I finished. Right. Hello, teacher. I We're just waiting for everybody to come back. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a couple of minutes and we are going to check this activity. So for this one, we're going to do uh, number two. Let me have a, uh, a volunteer for number two, please. One volunteer for number two. I don't play a sport ever. Seria, do you ever play a sport? Do you ever play sports? Number two. Sure play soccer three as week. Sería sure I play soccer three as week. Very good. Sure. I play soccer twice a week. Okay. Number three. Let me have another volunteer for number three. Monica. Mm. Uh, what do you do 
on Sunday morning, usually? And the answers, and answers, what do you do, usually do on sun, Saturday morning? Perfect, morning. perfect. What yeah. do you usually do on Saturday morning? Awesome, excellent, Monica. Uh, Dalia Santos, number four. Nothing much. I sleep until now, almost always. Nothing much. I almost always sleep until now. Perfect. Uh, the next one is uh, Marta Menjivar, number five. Do you do aerobics at the gym often? Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Perfect. Number six, Reina Acosta. No, I do aerobics hardly ever. No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Perfect. Number seven, Rene Cantade. Uh, do, do you exercise do you exercise on Sunday always? The answer do you always exercise on Sunday? Perfect. The next one, Manuel Alejandro. Number eight. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I never exercise on Sundays. Excellent. Number nine, let me have Maria Jose Moran. What do you do, usually do after class? Very good. What do you usually do after class is correct. Edwin Giovanni, number 10. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Awesome. I go, I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Perfect. Now we're going to be looking at 1.5. In this section, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps you sound more natural. Now for this activity, you're going to do vocaroo and you're going to record yourself expressing the sentences. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. All right, everybody listen please and repeat. You're really fit. Paul. You really fit. She looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. All right, so you're going to record yourself on Vocaroo. You're going to record yourself. All right, for example, the first one says, You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Oh. And then, then you are going, to, going to stop. put it here in the pronunciation section. You're going to write pronunciation and copy the link. Any questions? No questions. No question. no. Does, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity? Questions, questions? Yes, Monica. Uh, I early put the audio. Oh, okay, that's perfect. <laughs> you can continue with the next activity. <laughs> nice. thank, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Another question, guys? Eh, solo para quizás aclarar. Este, yes. Ten tenemos que que subir como un audio de las de las pronunciación que Que, que hicimos Correct. en el espacio donde aparece ahí en la discusión. Yes. That is okay. correct. Mm -hmm. Entendido. Yes. 
Okay, let's go ahead and move forward. Ready, let's go.
Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. All right, Enrique, yes. let me have your, oh, thank you, Monica. Let me have your examples, please. Let me listen to your pronunciation. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I open the link. Okay. Can you see my screen? That is correct. Awesome. That's it. Awesome. Very good. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Let me have another volunteer. Good job, Enrique. Another volunteer. Okay, let's go ahead and continue then. We will move forward and I would like for us to look at the next activity on the platform. For this activity, we're going to be looking at the video, I'm a real fitness freak. Listen, please. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. All right. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. That sounds like a lot of... Two volunteers. Me, teacher. All right. Monica and who said me, teacher? Rene. Rene. Action. You are in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I am really fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I, I guess. Well, all right, but, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys, time's up. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Enjoy tomorrow, your evening. Guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you for your participation. Good, Good job, night. guys. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.